not really about what you look like. It's about what you say. It's about what you are, I guess, which is a combination of what you look like and what you say. You know, how you move, the sounds you make, the images you project, the things you do. Tightening my blue. Basically, if you're doing kind things, it doesn't matter if you're like a homeless, you know, not to take anything away from someone that doesn't have a house, but if you're like unclean, you know, bogged down with dirty clothes if you're really kind it doesn't really matter what you look like if you're old young if you do a really good deed you know humanity lifts you it's interesting i thought of it because i noticed myself looking at myself in the camera that popped up the preview just kind of looking at myself and I thought that's vanity I never used to do videos because I wanted to look at myself that was not part of my agenda even ever really you know but it's tant sometimes you can get lost in that just because looking at anything you can get lost in but like being like ooh me you know I own it it's mine me me vanity is a trap Talk to the camera about what you think. Talk to you. Talk to, you know, whoever you are. You are the camera. You put the person in the camera and let it fly, man. Anyway, you talk about the good things that we can do together. Like uh, unify the planet. Build solar-powered water condensers. Have decentralized communities all over the place with digital currency. Pump water into the ground and into the ozone. Spray it out there, get the solar powered space elevator in place, and get all the roads rebuilt as solar panels, solar roadways. We can use the military to help build the solar roadways. It will be a good thing for them to do. We need to help clean up the spill in Brazil. Uh, we also need to help clean up the methane leak in Southern California, the nuclear radiation coming out of Fukushima. And how revolutionary do you want to get? All at once. We need to make sure that if the economy crashes, everyone has enough power and water for free and a place to live for free so solar panels will keep it lit and hot and you can condense water you can also make graphene and clean up the air by printing it out of carbon dioxide but we don't need to do that right away well we don't need to do that in everyone's home just yet unless you have an idea then let me know High-speed trains, man. ETTs, evacuated tube transports. Also self-driving cars. That's another debate. Like, what does the car do, you know? If there's a group of kids walking in front of it, but it has a passenger of four, what, how, what does the car do? Does it protect the passengers, or does it, you know... But the luxury of self-driving cars. And then we'll be able to fly in cars because it'll be magnetic. But that comes after the revolution. 